Getting students interested and appreciate math theorems, properties, and formulae pose a great challenge. The solution? Place the student on a discovery journey to find out how a certain theorem, property, or formula works in the form of exploratory activities, or EA for short. Each topic in the EA is self directed learning and comes with a guided worksheet. Here's a sample of a worksheet for the topic on Pythagoras' theorem. We start off with the objective of the activity. We know that students like images more than words. So here we have a screenshot of what they see on their monitors and a short instruction on how to proceed. For the rest of the worksheet, it is very user friendly. We have this segment here where a table is provided for them to record their findings and make observations as they go along. Finally, they record the conclusion they have arrived at. Now let's look at the program proper. Each EA comes in three sections, exploration, understanding, application. All the exercises in each section are randomly generated such that each student receives a unique set. Here in the exploration section, students refer to the guided worksheet to begin on the exploratory journey. For some topics, there are some prerequisite skills the students must have before they are allowed to embark on the exploratory journey. In this case, the system checks if the student knows where the hypotenuse of a right-angled triangle is. Once the check is done, the student proceeds with the rest of the activity. A tangram or puzzle adds fun to the exploration. Then, with the aid of animation, the student sees the relationships among the sides of the right-angled triangle. Now the student has come to a simple conclusion. In the understanding section, we give students lots of room to test out what they have discovered earlier under exploration. For example, they can recess the given figure, toggle the vertices, rotate the figure, view the animation, etc. Next, they are prompted to proceed to application. Under application, Randomly generated exercises test whether a student has understood the concept of that particular theorem, property, or formula. Now let's take a look at one of the circle properties, angle at center. In the exploration section, a protractor is provided to help them in the exploration. A zoom feature is also provided for a magnified view. So students make use of the protractor to find the measurements of the angles. Input the answers and view the animation to observe the relationship. In the understanding section, students are prompted to look at various cases and view the animation each time to see if the property still applies in each of those cases. After which, they are prompted to proceed to application. Now here comes the best part. Print screens are done of the student's exploratory journey and reflected in the report. We know the importance of practice when it comes to mastering math topics. If homework is given, marking has to be done. Students also won't know whether their answers are correct until they have received the marked homework. Is there an alternative solution? Yes, there is the Progressive Mastery Program, or PMP for short. In the PMP, topics are broken down into bite-sized learning components to pace students' learning. Questions are randomly generated to resolve the problem of one student do the homework, the rest of the class copy. Instant feedback after each solution is submitted or after each step for guided PMPs. Let's take a look at how we design this learning program. This topic is Solving Linear Equations. We have students who are so weak in this topic that they don't even know when to start. Well, not to worry. Let the system guide them. If they are unsure and need further help, click on Hint. Step by step, the system takes them through the solution. Line by line, the system auto-marks the input. If they make a mistake, they are not allowed to continue until they have corrected it. Now let's take a look at another topic, graphs of linear functions. To begin, select a range of values. Oops, invalid range. 
the student has failed to notice that a range of values has been given. This is a common problem. So with this PMP, the student learns to read the question carefully. Now let's keep the x values within the given range. Calculate the y values. As each y value is keyed in, a small cross appears. Ah, notice that there is a mistake made. We'll see how the system prompts the students later. Let's position the points first. Oops, incorrect position. Try again. Next, draw the line. The line is not straight. This is a linear graph, so the line drawn should be straight. Of course, the students can go ahead and submit the answer, but he or she can see that there is a mistake somewhere. So retrace the steps. Identify the problem. Correct it. Try again. And there we have the required linear graph. Next, we will look at how comprehensive our reports are for the PMP. This is an individual student's report. The results for each level and type of question for the topic is reflected in the report. As mentioned, each student is given a unique set of exercises, so the report should be able to reflect that. This question is unique to this student. Now here comes the best part. Every attempt's input is reflected in the report. This is a very good diagnostic tool. From each attempt's input, one is able to know the area of the student's weakness in the topic. Interactive tools are a great medium for understanding math concepts. Let's take a look at two unique tools, all-in-one grapher and 3D tools. As the name suggests, the all-in-one grapher enables one to plot multiple function graphs on the same Cartesian plane. Let's demonstrate the power and ease of using this tool by plotting a quadratic graph. First, select the type of graph. Then, its form. Finally, the coefficients and constants. You may key in the figures in the boxes or use the slide rule. Here's how you can adjust the scale. Voila! The quadratic graph is done. Now let's take a look at the unique features of this grapher. You can select the properties you want reflected on the graph. If you want to view the data table or xy values, here it is. Solution to the function. Formula to use. Gradients. No problem. Now let's try to plot a trigonometry function using the same steps. Let's take a look at some of its properties. Maybe gradients too? Shall we overlay some graphs and design a simple assignment? Here we go. Now we have two graphs on the same Cartesian plane. Let's get rid of the grid lines and have a sketch instead. Now let's have the equations presented. As an assignment, the students are required to match the equation to the graph. The graph can also be downloaded and attached to documents. Now let's take a look at the 3D tools. Let's begin with the first 3D tool for simple and composite solids. Here is a ready pool of simple solids and a pool of composite solids. To begin, select a solid. You can modify the solid any way you want it, rotate it, even magnify it. If you need a plan view, side or front elevation view, no problem. If a wireframe is what you desire, by all means. Now let's take a look at the 3D tool for triangles in 3D solids. To begin, select a solid. Now let's have the triangle in the solid. If you want the reference triangle to stand out, no problem. Solutions are also provided. Notice how the values in the solution changes when the object is modified. Now the third 3D tool is for 3D diagrams of real-life scenarios. Let's select a scenario. First, view the problem. We are to find the angle of elevation of M from B. 
Next, locate the triangle where the required angle is. Right, it is in this triangle. And this is the required angle. Now for the solution. Here, there is a unique feature which other systems do not have. Thinking process. Before any attempts on problem solving, the thinking process is crucial. Students need to understand the problem, identify what they are required to find, and manipulate the given information to solve the problem. Are you preparing for a national examination and want concise notes with ample practice questions? Then our math exam revision kit fits the bill. For each section, there are three segments. Revision notes, questions with guided solutions, practice questions. Let's view a sample topic, set language and notation. In the first segment, we have the revision notes, In the second segment, there are questions with guided solutions. Here, there is a unique feature which other systems do not have. Thinking process. Before any attempts on problem solving, the thinking process is crucial. Students need to understand the problem, identify what they are required to find, and manipulate the given information to solve the problem. Once that is done, they can begin to solve the problem. To view the working steps provided by the kit, just click on Working Steps. In the third segment, Practice Questions, the student should be able to manage on his or her own. Once the student has solved the problem, he or she may click on the Answer key to check his or her answer. If there is a need for a little help, the students may click on Thinking Process. If he or she desires to compare solutions, Click on Working Steps. Don't miss the chance to assess our two mobile apps, Math Mastery and Math Exam Revision Kit by iPhones, iPads, and Android devices. Students can peruse our lessons, practice drills, and revision kit on the go. For more details and sign up for this program, visit our website.